Oh, wait, Tish. I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah. Would you paste the paper? <laughs> no. Is that a having to come for you, Daddy? Really? Santa got you. My old boxing gloves. <laughs> and? Congrats on being a true fighter. Signed, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Jesse Jones! Cancer survivor. We did it, babe. We did it. <laughs> We did it. Who was born? He just collapsed. Is he breathing? How long? Yes, Tom, I'm gonna kill you. He said he was up to it. Did he lose consciousness before or after he collapsed? Before. I know, no, after. Which? The after. Definitely after. Possibilities we discussed. Okay. Um, what does that mean? His lung is failing. Too much healthy tissue was damaged. And since he no longer has the other one to fall back on, he. Okay, so what do we do? How do we. How do we fix that? I called the National Lung Association. We have to run a series of lung allocation tests to give them the highest priority for review. Well, that's good. Sam, as soon as the transplant claim gets to them, if he's even put on the list, it's gonna be far down. They don't give healthy tissue to a recovering cancer patient. Ever? Not unless you're a baseball hero or a politician. No, I... They do, though, sometimes, right? I mean, who makes the decisions?
Hello, my angel. Welcome to the desert. We are headed to Arizona University to get Daddy some new lungs. Of course, Mommy won't be able to record everything because she's probably gonna have to beat up some mean board of directors people. Listen, I just want you and Kels here with me. We'll be back soon, Tej. Babe, you're too far along to be traveling like this. You need to think about her now. I am thinking about her. She's all I think about. We'll be back tomorrow. Sammy Jones to see Dr. Timmons. Do you have an appointment? He's in meetings all day long. Do I need an appointment? <laughs> Next item is Sullivan. Hi. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Um, I just need a minute of your time. Okay, so I. Sir, I'm sorry, away. she just barged in. Ma'am, you can't know, be here. Ma'am, you have to go. We, we can do this. Ma'am, you have to go now. No, no, no I need we'll to talk it. to them. No, you! You! Wait! Wait, no, stop we'll it, please! My we'll husband we'll is a boxer! We'll and he needs a lung transplant! Let go of me! I'll leave! Okay! Okay, fine, let go! Let go, I'm leaving, okay? I My name is Samantha. Is your daddy home? What are you doing there? My husband, the most amazing, incredible, soon-to-be father in the world, needs a lung transplant. Go find your mom. She's beautiful. Okay. I'm sorry to barge over here. I'm just trying to help my family. Mrs. Jones, I'm sure you've been through a lot, so I'm not going to draw this out. I'm supposed to say that the chances are very low. The truth is there's no possibility at all that the board is gonna grant a former cancer patient a transplant. Okay, I've looked at the records you know and you've granted them before. We've tested the waters before. That was a luxury. These days there are over 3,000 patients on the donor list. 3,000 patients we can actually save. But you can save him, he's strong, he's a fighter. I swear to you he'll pull through. Go home, Mrs. Jones. No, I'm not gonna go home. I'm not gonna let you turn us into some name on some list. There's nothing I can do. Do you feel that? Her name is Kelsey and she has two arms and two legs and a heart that lets me know that she is here every moment of every day and she has a room in our new home that he painted four times to get the perfect yellow and she has a rocking chair that doesn't squeak because he made it out of scratch and she has a savings account and a pet fish named Rocky and she has all this because of him because he is our world, he is our everything. Please. Please. There has to be something that you can do. Our whole life has been planned and we haven't even started yet. She sounds amazing. I hope he gets a chance to meet her. 
Dr. Timmons. Wait, Dr. Timmons! So this is kind of a special spot for mommy and daddy. We were driving home from college and right here he pulled over and he popped the question. And I haven't been without him ever since. John! John? Can you say something, please? It's too quiet. How's Kelsey? Anxious. He's not going to get to see her, is he? You know my OB, Dr. Woods? Yes. You call her? Once we take him off ventilation, how long will he have? Could be a few hours. For lucky a day. That's why we need to make absolute certain that this is very definitely what Tommy wants. After the extubation, he's going to be under quite a bit of pain, so we'll have him under a mild sedative. We'll also have a nurse present with him during your labor, Sam. And we'll start the process as close as we can to your